All right, so today we're taking a break from the stone painting, which turned out like a Crayola mess in my opinion, but it is what it is, and it will turn into an underpainting for something cooler in the future. So we're gonna revisit the jellyfish painting. I've got it turned on its side right now, and music playing way too loud. Not just that, I'm trying to drown out that guy. The guy is mowing the lake. All right, back to the jellyfish painting. We're gonna attempt to do uh, some ray tracing. You see I got the painting turned on its side. I got a little uh, suggestive uh, light coming through the water there and landing on the jellies. But we're gonna use a little trick. We're gonna use a string tied up at a distance. This one is a stretchy boingy string. And we're gonna use it to accurately follow a consistent angle across the painting and I might have to make it further away to get it to follow the lines that are currently there but you can see that where our rays go will follow a constant angle which helps contribute to its believability and realism you can also use this to pinpoint where light lands on objects as it comes through the water, whether it go behind the jellyfish from the waves above, and where it lands on the different features of both the tentacles and the plumage as the light cascades through the water itself. Okay, so what I've done now is coated the entire painting with a light mixture of linseed oil and some mineral spirits to thin it out and so it'll dry a little quicker and you can see the whole painting has a sheen to it very glossy very wet I'm gonna let that soak in for a few minutes and then wipe off the excess so I've got a really slippery surface which will allow me to easily paint on top of and really put a thin layer of paint to suggest the light rays when I attempt to light this sucker up. So basically got mixture down there in that coat can and I've been basically going up and down, back and forth to work that oil, that concoction into the canvas itself. And just like you see the light ray right there from the sun, I'm going to attempt to accomplish the same thing on the painting. Stay tuned. So we got some, uh, some ray tracing going on. I didn't go as detailed as I thought I would, and but now I'm spending some time adding some detail to my jellies, and specifically a little bioluminescence going on in the tentacles. But uh, here's what we've got so far. Slowly bringing the magic out. All right, working on the jelly still. I added some ray tracing. I didn't go as crazy as I thought I would. I might add some back or some more, you know, but we've gotten into uh, detailing the jelly's tentacles, a little bioluminescence going on here in detail and uh, adding a little bit of magic, trying to add some depth and uh, we'll keep going. Okay, we're hanging up the towel for the day and I believe we're done with the jellyfish. So this is what we've got. Um, thought I might go a little crazier on the uh, sun rays, but in the right lighting, this sucker is uh, pretty fantastic. The details are pretty good. It's got a gloss finish to it that will matten up as it dries over the next couple of days. But uh, got a new signature style I'm trying out. I like it. But that's it. That's jellyfish. I don't really know what to call this one, but I'm calling it done. Which allows me to get back to the rocks. We'll find out what we do with that later. And of course, we still got this uh, montage of wacky doodleness going on. They pay it a visit real quick. So this is my new trash painting that's in progress, but we took a break from it just because 
need to be in the right mindset to pay attention to this level of weirdness and detail and not get overwhelmed with the detail and color. Really trying to focus on values that are really important. You can paint in whatever palette you want, but values make the painting draw things near and far. But Shane, this will be done if you're interested uh, really soon. And everybody else out there that I don't even know who I'm talking to. Thanks for checking out my shit. I'll do more.